here we're going to look at a mixture problem. I like to sort of draw a picture to see what's going on. And so if I read it, it says um, we have two solutions and we're mixing them together. And so one of them is 40% alcohol, one's 12%. And they say you use 2000 milliliters of solution A. So just sometimes they'll tell you one or the other. Sometimes they'll tell you the total amount you want to end up with. But the only thing is just reading and figuring out which one that goes with. So you already know how much of the blue one here to use, the A. We don't know how much of the B. So we want to know, well, how much of this should we use? Well, it depends what our goal is. And so here it says if the resulting mixture is 32%. So once these get mixed together in here, I want the resulting mixture to be 32%. So sometimes I like to call these the Goldilocks problems. You have something that's too much, something that's not enough, and one that's just right. I think if you mix something stronger and something less strong, you always end up somewhere in the middle. You can't mix two things and make them stronger without some other process. So mixing puts you somewhere in the middle. So when I'm filling in this table, I know, think about how percentages work. If something's 40% and I have, I don't know, 100 milliliters of it, 40% times 100 says, oh, 40 of those milliliters are actually alcohol. So if you want a percent of something, you multiply it just universally. And so I just fill in my one of these is too strong, one of them's not enough, and one of them's just right. So we'll put the just right stuff on the bottom. And then notice it's kind of hard to get any of these in the wrong spot because this is always going to be the middle number. So 12% isn't strong enough and 40% is too strong. We want to mix them together. And then we know how much of this to use. And what we're trying to figure out is how much of this to use. So if we don't know something, that's a good thing to make our X. Or here, maybe I'll just make it B, since it's solution number B. All right, then think, if I mix these two together, what's happening? I'm taking however much I had here and however much I had here, and I'm adding them together, just literally physically adding them together. So my resulting amount, if this is 2,000 of this, and this is B of this one, is going to be B plus 2,000, or 2,000 plus B. All right, then the reason the table's nice, it reminds me what to do with my numbers. If I get something in this column and this column, I multiply them. So I want 2,000 times 40% or 0.4, means that out of the 2,000 milliliters, 800 of them are actually pure alcohol, because it's 40% of 2,000. All right, I don't have to know the numbers to multiply necessarily, though. So 0.12 times B is just 0.12B. And then 0.32 times B is 0.32B. And then 0.32 times 2,000. Don't forget you're doing the whole thing times this, so you have to distribute, is 640. All right, so where's my equation come from? Well, nice thing is, once you get kind of one of these set up, all of them are the same. They just have different numbers in them. My equation comes from... I'm dumping these two things together. So just like here, this plus this gives me my resulting mixture. So I know that the 800 plus the 0.12B, so how much alcohol is in this one and how much is in this one, should add up to the amount I want to end up with in my mix. So it's always the two you're putting together add up to give you the resulting mixture. All right, so picture once we have an equation, we can hopefully actually solve it. So I'd subtract 0.12B from both sides, so it'll say 800 equals 0.20B plus 640. And then you could subtract 640 from both sides. So I get 160 equals 0.2B and divide by 0.2. So B equals 800. And then we want to put that back in. What's that telling us? Well, this is what we made our B. We didn't know how much of the red mixture to use. So it's always a good idea to put it back in there and make sure that actually works. So we think it's 800 milliliters. We'll make this balance out. So let's try it. So if I use 800 of this, then notice all together I have 2,000 plus 800, so 2,800 in my mix, if I use this much of this and this much of this one. And now I can check on all these percentages. 
So 12% of 800 is 96. And 32% of 2,800 is 896. And then we can see, does 800 plus 96 actually give me 896? So that's what you're looking for is the number that's going to make it balance. So before you start any of these, I would always set up the table. It gives you a place to organize all the information. You always have a too much, not enough, and something in the middle that you're trying to make.